My name is Ugo Mosier, and I'm a fashion artist. In the African household, or the average African household, you know, a career in something like fashion or anything creative is never usually the first option or the option pushed towards the kids. But for me, I, I, just, I was blessed to grow up in a pretty liberal, open family to the point where I feel like my parents always had a clue that whatever it was that I was going to end up doing wasn't going to be the typical thing, you know. And since I was a kid, you know, I've always been very expressive about my dreams and big ideas and wanting to go and be a superstar and all these things. And my mom and dad always told me, yeah, like they always, they never limited my ideas and always allowed me to explore it. You know, when I moved to Los Angeles when I was younger, uh, my first my first experience in the entertainment field was through acting and modeling. So when I was like 11, I was doing a couple commercials and TV things. So like I already had a that 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 push and that support from my parents from day one. Yeah. So I debuted my first collection when I was 17 during New York Fashion Week, Aston Mosier, and that to me was, you know, was my first credible thing in fashion and it gave me all the you know validation that I needed for myself to really go full force into it. You know, like I, I faced the typical troubles from, you know, having to first of all produce a full collection. You know, I, I had about six months to put all my ideas from my childhood and all my old sketches and everything I could ever dream about into one consistent collection. And I did that and it took me about two weeks to plan the actual fashion show with one of my friends who I hired was like a, a upcoming PR girl. You know, we came together and we just had, you know, very minimal money, like very minimal resources, but we had just big ideas and a lot of confidence. And we had the show and the next day, you know, the reviews were way beyond expe expectations. We got, we were covered in so many magazines from the New York Times to Paper to Double uh, XL to, nylon so it was just great you know and um after then i just really I, I i really had the confidence that i needed to to really do what i needed to do i feel like at the end of the day um everybody is a creative and everybody has a certain eye but what separates um different artists and creators and entertainers is those who really believe in themselves and those who really like take the risk to actually follow what their dreams were and I've, I've never been scared of taking risks and each risk came with a certain validation that kept me going and New York Fashion Week was just one of them. You know, that was one of my like foundations and platforms I really used to, to start my styling, costume design, fashion and the whole marketing structures that I have now. Uh, styling Justin Bieber for the Met Gala. Uh, two years ago, like, that was amazing. Just the whole process and being involved and getting a chance to work with Vogue and with Bauman and having to design a custom piece with the with the house was for sure an uh, amazing experience. Um, working with Karl Lagerfeld for uh, we shot the this V magazine um, Chanel shoot in Paris and just I, I had to spend a whole entire well two days with him. And the day we shot was just like a life-changing day for me. This man is like, he's, he's Karl Lagerfeld, so he's like obviously my idol in fashion. And he was giving me just like the most craziest tips, like telling me just like things and uh, how to navigate the industry and how to know what's cool and what's not. And that day for sure was one of the top, top experiences. Working with Chris Brown was an amazing experience because not only was he a friend, he's, a, he's an amazing client and he's somebody that I was so inspired by, you know, at the time. Like, we got to really create amazing, amazing moments. You know, um, he's, he's an artist that's in full control and in full, like, his vision and for his vision for his art is just, like, so pristine. You know, he's involved in every single aspect and, like, being able to work with somebody like that is really amazing because it's, I feel like that's what, that's what really, what's what creating and collaborating is about. You know, like having a client that you can really be able to learn from and understand and refine and cultivate is a beautiful thing. And we got a chance to really create some amazing moments in fashion. And I thought 
it was a great pair, you know, and um, we still work together here and there, and we, we see each other all the time, and it's always love, so he's just, he's for, he's for sure one of the clients that, that helped um, me learn about myself, helped me learn about what my aesthetic is, and I got a chance to try new things and learn new things, and we really grew a lot from each other. Working with GT Bank as the head stylist for the show was such an awesome experience. I got a chance to really get, I feel like what it was, a crash course on Nigerian fashion, entertainment, the business, the production side of things. And it was dope, you know, we got it, it was so well planned and organized from the beginning. You know, I got heads up and got an idea of what was happening, but honestly, nothing compares to when I walked into that building, you know, and saw the production and saw what they built. It was phenomenal, you know, it was mind-blowing. I feel like they really put a lot, a lot of work and effort and love into the show, into the, and, it, and it really showed. And um, just inviting my family and friends to get to share the experience, like, was awesome as well. Um, the, the team was great. Everyone just, like, really got a chance to, like, show me exactly how, like, you know, like, the whole Nigerian production of fashion works because, like, Truthfully and honestly, it's completely different than anything I've experienced before. When you find that right client, when you find that right company or client that understands your worth and that value, they will appreciate it and they will hire you and they will pay your rate. You know, it takes a lot of practice, it takes a lot of free jobs and a lot of like, you know, just um, trial and error for you to really find that pair, you know. It takes a while for you to find your Chris Brown or your Justin Bieber, but it really just is about really finding a pair. You know, a stylist and a client to me is like a marriage. You know, it's not, it's a service that, that it's, it goes way beyond the clothing. It's a, it's a therapy, it's a, your friends. You have to have a, a, I have mutual love and respect and energy for each other. So at the end of the day, if your client is treating you like you're just a stylist or your job is just to get clothes, then maybe that's not a client for you. I'm so happy and honored to be in Donnie Lifestyle's Career Crush of the Month. <laughs>